Good day guys, uh, this is your instructor Shepard uh, from s &A Driving School. I just want to say guys, don't forget to subscribe and share the videos with other people. And today's uh, subject, we are going to talk about incline, we are going to talk about the hill start, we are going to talk about the mountain hill. So to all those guys who are looking at us everywhere you are, Limpopo, Debeni, Johannesburg, uh, Port Elizabeth, Cape Town. You guys, you need to understand what is the tactic that you need to do. I'm just doing this theory. Some and somehow it can help people so that when you see those videos that we put there for practical lessons, you understand uh, that uh, what is happening. It's very, very cold here where we are. But anyway, stay tuned and listen to exactly what will happen on this incline story okay i'm going to draw my mountain F forget about my mountain do not worry about it right this is my mountain right okay this is my mountain and this mountain here there's a signpost here okay the signpost is not quite nice let me do this inside here it's written stop inside here is written what stop and um right right i'm sure you can see that okay ah that's one is a good mountain i can see now also okay guys listen to this uh remember when you are doing things like uh, incline and um let me say, when you are doing the packings, your heart needs to be very, very comfortable. You need to be relaxing. You need to not to have pressure. Don't think about it a lot. But the moment you think about it a lot, you are going to forget what you're supposed to do. So in this, uh, in this um, uh, incline of me, you start or mountain start it happens that everyone they've got their own uh, saying it for me i'll say it incline is way guys understand this tactic you don't need to hurry yourself when you go to the incline now remember this is the line here where you need to stop this is the line here where you need to stop right I'm sure you, exactly, it, you can see nicely. Uh, there's also another thing here. It's also saying about uh, both sides. It will be written, stop. I'm sure you can see this thing nicely. You see now. So this is you um, coming from this side here. I always see other people, they've got a problem when it comes they've got problem when it comes to position their car nicely they don't know really where to stop when you are going to incline right so what i've noticed when the people have got pressure on the exam they've got everything that they have and they're not relaxing at all because they are scared of that incline they come and they stop here okay let me just do my line and this return stop as well down there most of the time it's written stop there okay you can see it okay most of the time it's written stop there but they will stop here far away they stop here some of your brothers and sisters they stop me they stop here i want you to understand one thing do you see right sorry do you see uh, that uh, if you stop here this mountain is going to be very difficult for you because it will require more balance. This is how the setup of the traffic departments that I've uh, uh, discovered. That if you stop here, the truck will... Okay, I'm talking about code 10 truck, right? I'm not talking about code 8. So don't mix it. I'm talking about code 10. So when, the, when your truck stand there, it, it, it intends to have more, more, more balance. It needs more balance than usual. So if you are clever out there listening to these videos, as you are driving from this side here, from this side here, you are the one who's driving here. You know yourself, all right? Okay, you are driving. 
Don't be that kind of person. You gonna stop that car here. No. Go closer here. Go closer there where they ride. Stop there. Go and stop there. The heavier of the mountain or the momentum that you need there, it won't be much as as compared to be the one that is here. You understand? The momentum, it won't be as much, or the heavier of the mountain, it won't be much as compared to the one of the stop side. You understand? So rather, if you are clever, do not stop your car from this side. Go and stop your car closer to the, to the stop sign here. That is when you need to stop your car, all right? After we go there now, there's this another story. When people going to stop there, they forget that they need to use both clutch and brakes. So what do they do there when they go there? Some of the people, they only um, press brakes and leave the clutch and the car will, will switch off. You see? So from that instant of switching off the car now, that is where the problem started. That is where the nervous will come because you're not really understanding what you must do. So when I teach my people, my clients, my students, what I tell them that is that when you are going there, you must learn how to do breaks and clash same time. One time, this is your 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 your, your clash. This is your your right hand. This is your brakes. So you go with the with the with the with the when you want to stop slowly but sure, bit by bit. One time you stop, even if the truck go that uh, uh, does that uh, that hiccup like in front like this, it doesn't matter. As long your truck or your vehicle stop stationary, stop, and then you say in your mind, if you are talking, that's your advantage. You say hand break up, you put your gear in your truck, then you relax, you leave everything. Do you know why you must leave everything? If you remain on the brakes. There is a, 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 a gap that is between the brakes and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the gears. So if you keep on pressing brakes, it means that the, 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 the mindset of the vehicle will still remain stopping. Even if you, you already engaged to gear number one, you understand? The mindset of the vehicle will remain what? Standing still because now the other mind of the vehicle will say now you have put gear number one to go But also in your other mind is saying the the vehicle must stop So before it goes forward when you release the brakes it will start going backwards first to Accommodate that gap that was between the gear and what and the brakes So I urge you guys that when you are going to stop brakes and clutch that time do not forget to put your handbrake up, gear neutral, and leave everything. The car must be in neutral, the car must be stationary. And then now, to other traffic department, when you are there on that stop sign, you have to say mirror, mirror, blind spot, indicate to them, to the right side. Because they assume that here, 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 as, 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 as you going down there, you are going to turn to the right side. So the road will go and turn to the right side to go over, maybe to the straight reverse or to the, to the, to the, to the alley docking. It depends with the setup of the, of the traffic department. But forget about that thing of the, of the right turn. Let us talk with the important thing now. The important thing is, if you know that there is a right turn there, the, the road is going to turn, then you have to say, mirror, mirror, blind spot, whilst you are still standing on this incline, on that stop sign. That is when you say, mirror, mirror, blind spot, indicate to them, to the right. After that, you put your clash in gear number one, you balance your car. Remember, this is one leg that is doing this. Clash in and one leg, I mean, her one hand to put gear. You clash in gear number one, you balance your car. Okay, hear this. For all the people that are using code 10 trucks, trucks, they've got a heavy balance. Always, the balance of the truck is very he heavy. So sometimes you don't need accelerator because sometimes other people, they forget that they are balancing now. So when they press accelerator now, and they also press the clutch inside, meaning to say now this truck 
there is only raving, but there is no the balancing. So for me, my students, I told them that it's better to hear that noise of the track only by the clash here. Yeah, very, very heavy. And you can see that the track is forcing to go instead of you per, per, per putting the accelerator and then relax thinking that the accelerator is going to move the car. The car is never moved with accelerator. The car is moved with what? With the clash. So guys, hear me very well. After gear number one, you balance your car. You feel that heavy. The track must shake with the, 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 the vibration of the clash. Or the vibration of the track must shake you also you you must hear that ah this time around this track is very heavy this track is balanced for it to go then after that vibration you can hear that yeah this track is complaining that is when you still need to balance and remain remember when you are balancing eh, this is important right guys take note of it this is your ankle right and this is your toes i'm talking about the the shoe, the foot, or the leg. This is the, your ankle, and this is the toes. The ankle need to hit, this is the floor, the ankle need to hit down like this, right? The ankle. And then when you are balancing, you are doing this, you are releasing the clash, and if you hear that this time now, the, the, the track is vibrate, remain there, then after that you say, blind spot, mirror, 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 blind spot, and then hand break down, you press your hand break down and put your hand break slowly but sure. That track will just jump on itself. And then you find yourself that uh, the incline was not difficult. And then you pass your incline. This is how you need to do it. So that you, you don't say that I failed the exam and, uh, because of, uh, of, of incline. You guys, you must understand that even the examiners, when you go to the test, they won't be looking uh, sharp, sharp, or they won't be looking sharp, sharp on their face. They will be looking very scary so that you, you can get intimidated with that scariness. If I were you, me, I'll start laughing as I see that they are angry because I know that uh, these things, they are trying to make tactics on me so that you can fail. You guys, you don't mind your business because if you do mind your business, you are not going there because of his face or because he's got one eye is, is broken or maybe he's got big mouth. And when you are busy concentrating with that instead of concentrating with your exam. So this is how other people come and fail. They come and tell you, ah, oh, you know, instructor, I failed because this face, this face of this examiner, it was very angry. I said, okay, so when now were you going there for his angry face or you are going to do your tests? Which one is the one that you want? Do you want to, to pass your test or you want to look at his face? So I'm urging you guys, whenever you are partaking your lessons, whatever you are doing, don't be concentrating with people's face. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. As you look at them, the, the face will be scary. And you, you're not going to be comfortable now. You ladies, I know our ladies out there, you say I've been failing my exam because uh, the instructor was very looking at me. If you see that is looking at you, you if you don't mind, look at your things, look at your steering, look in your rod. Your vision must not be obstructed because he's looking at you. This is uh, the key points that I'm giving you guys. You need to be clever. You know how much it is to spend money on doing lessons, on something that you could have do, maybe five lessons or ten lessons. But the only key to this is know why are you at driving school? Why are you there? That's the first key that you must know. So that everything that you do, you understand exactly, okay, I'm here for driving, uh, I'm here for doing my lessons of driving, I'm here to practice, okay, I'm here for the tests. As I'm here for the test, what must I do? I must make sure that I don't get intimidated by the examiners. You know, those guys, they use these skills to attack you, to attack you. Some of them, they can even come smiling. And you think, ha, huh? the way he's smiling, I already get my license. No, it doesn't mean that at all. Some of them, they were born smiling. Some, they were born angry. You understand? So it that, does that not concern you at all. So you need to understand that their first expression it doesn't say anything to your test unless if we tell you that ah congratulations you passed then you can start also smiling back if you don't know that you are passing already or you're still uh, writing on his book ah my sister it's better for you 
to mind your business. To the guys, also, please don't get intimidated with the examiners, with their look. Because they are looking, some of them, they can even come uh, serious and say, turn right, turn left, turn, uh, uh, keep going straight, you understand? They try to give you pressure. So for me, when I teach my clients, I teach them with pressure. So that when these examiners come now with their tactics of giving pressure to the students, I already teach them how to do these things. They already know. So I'm sure that you have understand this incline. Uh, a better way even if we are going to do the incline the practical driving lessons but i'm sure that you understand what exactly i was talking about there do not be nervous unnecessary these are just examiners examiners is a human being as you this person you also eat he also drinks. It means that is a human being. In his veins here, there is blood, meaning that is a human being. So in your mind, to those people who've never tested before, don't think that, ah, you know what, eh, this person is going to be thinking if I make a mistake, eh, all those things. As you go to the exam, you must know why you are there. Go with understanding of the exam. Thank you guys for watching these videos. I'm going to explain a lot about all these tactics how these examiners try to find mistakes on you for me on today i'll end here i'm sure you understand uh how is it important to be calm how is it important to mind your business okay stay tuned guys i'm happy to see you i hope that you like these videos and share with other people don't forget to subscribe and share the videos with others. Thank you, guys. I will see you on the next video. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.